What's up guys, it is Bernardo from the BTN HD and yes, I am super excited today because I am going to finally upgrade my gaming laptop. I've had this gaming laptop about, oof, ah, oh, wow, maybe three or four or five years and it is strong, strong, strong. Uh, so you're probably wondering what type of laptop I have. I have the Asus FX53VD uh, with the 1050 graphics card, GTX 1050 yes uh, right now I'm running only 8 gigs of memory and I think the max that I could go right now is 32 gigs so I picked up some 32 gig uh, memory two sticks 16 gigs each to max it out and I'm super excited so uh, I'm gonna show you guys the memory that I purchased why I picked that type of memory I'm gonna show you what particular site that I went to do a little bit of research to why I picked that particular memory because it's super easy, right? So let's get started. Now I like to use crucial.com to do my basic homework. And the reason why I like this website is because they got a huge database and you are able to select your computer or download a small little, you know, app and it will scan your machine and let you know what type of memory and hard drive you are able to purchase to upgrade. I typically don't like to install anything, so I just go straight to select the computer. I pick the manufacturer, which would be Asus or Asus or whatever they're called, and enter your model. Now, for me, it is the FX53VD, and boom, and submit your search. One of the cool things about the website is that it gives you a rundown of the max memory that you are able to increase your machine. It tells you right now, max memory is only 32 gigs. It has two slots. Uh, standard memory, which I, this is what I have right now, eight gigs. For hard drive space, you know, it tells you what size, what, what speed, which is cool. And it even tells you your uh, Intel chipset. And it gives you a rundown of all type of memory. Now, again, I picked up actually the Ballistic Sports LT 16 gigs, Double DR4 2400 uh, memory sticks, and I picked up two of them. I actually picked them up at B&H. It was actually on sale, so I took advantage of it, and that's what I'm going to be upgrading this machine with. Two 16 gig sticks to max it out to 32 gigs, and uh, if you want to upgrade any laptop or even PC, they even give you recommendations all the way at the bottom for hard drive space. So this is all memory, I'm going super fast right now, and it even tells you recommendations of what type of hard drive you're able to purchase, which is awesome. All right, so again, I picked up my memory from B&H, and I got a good price on the kit, a 32 gig kit, two 16 gig sticks. Super excited. Yes, these are the Ballistic Gaming Memory. Ooh, awesome. So right now we have our laptop flat down. I got my nice little uh, tool kit right here. There's about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And right here in the middle on this particular model, there's like a little rubber guard, which I have to like take out and 11. So there's 11 screws that I have to take out just to upgrade the memory. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, I finally got it open. Oof, fan is a little dusty. I'm definitely gonna get a air can and clean that off before I put the top. Nice. We have our SATA 
solid state drive and it looks like this guy is a m.2 solid state drive 128 and i think this is the the terabyte one this one right here is the primary one that the windows operating system is installed and this is my raw storage this is the one that i actually have all my games installed awesome oof this is beautiful i just love the the way it looks inside this is the wi-fi chip right here the heat sink fans i definitely got to clean this up real quick and if i lift this flap up right here there goes our memory beautiful awesome again it comes standard with two slots and you automatically get a 8 gig stick and this 8 gig stick i'm actually going to use it with another machine so we're going to take that out boom beautiful awesome so we're going to take our ballistics 16 gig sticks two of them which gives us a total of 32 gigs so again you have two dim sticks you always want to put the one that's closest to the motherboard because if you put the one that's at the top it's going to be kind of uncomfortable to put the one next to the motherboard so line them up Gotta line them up on this little, uh, little kind of, you know, little slot right here. And boop. I like to put it in the angle, make sure it's nice and seated inside the dim slot. And then all you gotta do is just push nice and easy because these two little hinges right here will clip right next to the memory stick. So these little guys right here, those metal hinges will clip right there and you're good to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. Bam, done, awesome. I'm gonna do the same thing with the last stick. Insert it in a angle position. Make sure you got that slot pointing to that little stick or whatever inside the dim, right? It's flapping and then just push down until you hear the click. Boom, done, awesome. Now I'm actually going to get an air can and I'm gonna clean this guy up real quick. All right, I got my air can right here. Woo, nice. <laughs> uh, so best practice when you're cleaning uh, a fan, uh, like if you're cleaning like your CPU fan on your PC, your desktop PC or your laptop or whatever, you don't want to just blow on it like this. You see how it's moving it by itself? You don't want that, you wanna hold it. The reason why you don't want to have all that air push that fan it's because believe it or not you're, you're putting pressure into the the bearings of the of the fan you don't want that you don't want to put more stress to that fan because you need that fan to keep the machine nice and cool so i'm gonna just take one finger hold it down right so it won't move and we're gonna clean all this stuff out clean the heat you know we're gonna clean up the heat sink right there all right, bam, so it's all cleaned up. I got the memory inserted. I'm gonna put the top back on the laptop. I'm gonna put all the screws back and we're gonna power it on and we should be ready to start gaming. All right, so it's finally booted up. I'm gonna right click on the task bar, go to task manager, gonna go to performance and look right there. Let me see if you guys can get a better look. Look at the memory, 32 gigs, walk, walk, walk. Super excited, can't wait to see how this guy works out. All right, I'm gonna end it right here and I catch you guys on the next vlog, peace out.